Hello, I'm Lucinda from Acuity Training. I'm going to show you how to use Outline View in PowerPoint and what it actually is. Let's open up a PowerPoint presentation. Here's my PowerPoint presentation called Project Overview and I can see different views of this. This is called Normal View, this screen that we're looking at here. And we can see the button on the status bar at the bottom says normal. If we go to the view ribbon, we also can see the normal view option here. And the normal view, just go back to home ribbon again, the normal view is or has got a slides panel where we can see thumbnails of each slide, an outline, which is what we're going to look at panel a slide view in the middle and a notes panel at the bottom. As you can see, the outline panel only gives us the text of the PowerPoint presentation. If I just scroll through, you can see that. If you're using the outline panel, I tend to use this, this divider line running through the screen here and I tend to drag that out until it stops. And what you then get is a slide miniature and the ability to use the outline panel a little bit more easily. And we can just type into here very, very simply. We can also, if I click on slide two, for example, I can also drag slides around very easily as well. And I'm gonna move project goals look between slides four and five. And it's very easy to move slides around. I can move technology up just underneath competitive analysis. What I can also do in outline view as well, if I right click on competitive analysis on the actual piece of text, I can actually collapse this slide up and there isn't any text underneath it so we don't see a change. If I do the same with technology however, if I collapse this slide, you'll see that technology is now the heading only and not the contents of the slide underneath. To expand technology again, I right click on the text, go to expand and expand technology. And these are the points being shown underneath technology. You probably also noticed I can collapse all of my slides up so I just see the headings look of my slides. I can then right click and I can expand all of my slides if I need to. You can now see all the points showing in my slide. So it helps us to organise and manage the detail in our PowerPoint presentation. We can also use the outline view to construct a presentation, which I'm going to show you now. So I'm actually going to close with Control and W this presentation down, and I'm not going to save it and I'm going to open up a new presentation and show you how to use the outline view to construct a new presentation. Again, we go to outline. I probably would make my screen larger for outline view because I think that's easier. And I click next to slide one. This is going to be about IT training. So I'm going to call my first slide IT training and we can see the header appear on the right hand side there. Because I'm in outline view, when I press return, it automatically gives me slide two, which I don't currently want. I want to type my name and my company's name underneath IT training on slide one. So all I'm gonna do is press the tab button above caps lock and that takes me back onto, it demotes my point, it takes me back onto slide one. And I can now put my name and the company that I'm presenting for. Okay. If I now press return again, it automatically keeps me on slide one. I now want slide two to type onto. So I'm now gonna press shift and tab together, which will promote and give me a new slide too. Let's try that again. We're going to have an agenda slide next, talking about IT training. If I press return, I get slide three automatically. 
I want to type onto the agenda slide. So what do I do? I click shift. No, I don't. I click tab to get onto the agenda slide. And I can now type all the different courses that Acuity Training Limited train. Things like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Outlook, amongst others. Let's just pick those out. Press return. I now need a slide three to talk about Word. So I'm now going to press shift and tab together to promote to slide three. And this slide is going to be about Word. Press return. Slide four is going to be about Excel. Press return. Slide five is going to be about PowerPoint. Press return. And slide six is going to be about Outlook. How do I get onto slide three to talk about my Word courses? I click at the end of Word. I press return to get slide four. I don't want slide four. I want to type about Word on slide three. So I press tab to get onto my Word slide. And we do essentials courses. We do intermediate courses, advanced and VBA. Let's do that again for Excel. Click at the end of Excel, the heading for slide four, press return. How do we get onto the slide four? We press tab. We have essentials courses for Excel, intermediate, advanced, and a VBA. And that is how we can use the outline view in PowerPoint 2007 and 2010 to create a presentation. Thank you for listening.